Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to set up and install a D-Link router, model number DIR-L1900. In the box you should have received a router, power adapter, ethernet cable, quick install guide, and a quick install card. For this setup I will be using an Android phone, however if you're using an iPhone or an iPad the steps will be similar. In order to set up the router you'll need to download the D-Link Wi-Fi app from the Google Play Store. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you can download the app from the App Store. Launch the Google Play Store on your device, search for D-Link Wi-Fi, and install the app. Launch the D-Link Wi-Fi app. If you get a prompt to turn off your mobile data, please do so. Once the setup is complete, you can turn it back on. Tap Install New Device. Tap on scan the QR code and scan the code that is on the bottom of the router or on the quick install card. This unit supports both router and extender mode. In this video I will show you how to configure a single unit as a router. In a later video I will show you how to create a mesh network using two DIR-L1900s. Tap select. Unplug the power to your modem and make sure all the lights are off. If you still have lights that are lit on the modem, then please remove the battery from your modem. Tap Next. Connect an Ethernet cable from your modem to the yellow internet port on the router. Tap Next. If you remove the battery from your modem, you can reinsert the battery at this point and power the modem back on. Tap Next. Plug in the router to a power outlet. Tap Next. While the router is booting up, the LED on the front will be solid red and will start to flash orange once the unit is ready for setup. If the LED on the front of the router does not turn on at all, check the power button on the back of the device and make sure it is in the on position. Once the LED on the router starts to blink orange, tap next. If you're using an Android device, you will be automatically connected to the default signal of the router. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you will be prompted to join the default signal of the router. The router will detect your internet connection automatically. In this example, the router is connected to a cable modem. If you have a DSL modem, then you may be prompted for additional information. Here you have the option to change the Wi-Fi network name and the password of your router. In this example, I will change this to home and I will also change the password. Tap next. You will need to configure an admin password for your router. This password is required when you want to make changes to your configuration. This is not your Wi-Fi password. Tap next. To ensure your device has the latest updates, tap on keep my device up to date automatically. When a software update is available, it will automatically be installed on your device without the need of manually updating it. Tap Next. Here you will see a summary of the changes you have made. I would recommend that you make a note of this information for future use. Tap Save. The device is applying your settings and rebooting. If you're using an Android device, you will be automatically connected to the new Wi-Fi signal of the router. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you will be prompted to join the new Wi-Fi signal of the router. You can link your device with Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa. This is an optional setting and can be configured at a later time. If you would like to link your device now, then tap register and follow the on-screen prompts. I don't need to link my device at this time, so I'll just tap on not now. Setup is now complete. Tap finish. You can now manage the router with the D-Link Wi-Fi app. Thank you for watching. For more videos and other helpful resources on how to get the most out of your D-Link device, please visit support.dlink.ca or support.dlink.com.